What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Um, I haven't posted a video in a while, so I thought, you know, I would post a video about me just so you kind of know a little bit more about me, a little bit more about my golf journey, and kind of what I want to do with this YouTube channel. Um, so, starting at a young age, uh, parents got me this little plastic uh, set, you know, just uh, nothing but like two or three clubs in it. And... Uh, I was obsessed with it and you know I played it all over the yard which if you know me you knew that I played by myself a lot uh, I was very competitive so even if I lost to myself I was mad um, anyways I was really competitive uh, pretty much any sport outside you know I really wanted to do but what really kind of helped me stick with it is because I was a huge fan of Tiger Woods you know still am today um but yeah, what really got me into golf and really got me stuck with it is my man, Braden Berryman. So if you watch this man, I appreciate you. Uh, Cause he lived on a golf course. And at the time uh, there was a golf course behind his house as like a par three. And which is a very good learning uh, experience for someone that doesn't really know how to hit a ball. Um, but yeah, so, you know, I'll go out to his house quite often growing up. Uh, we'll go out to that little course and, you know, play it for days on end and for hours on end. Uh, so that's really what got me into it. Um, also, for those who don't know, which a lot of people that do watch know, but if you're new to this, you know, again, I appreciate you watching, but I am from a little town called Guthrie, Oklahoma. Uh, it's about 20 minutes north of Oklahoma City, so it's right down uh, central Oklahoma. Um, but back to the story. So... Um, Braden, you know, kept me into it, you know, as I was young. And then once I got to high school, you know, I was still obsessed with that. I still wanted to learn. I still wanted to get good at this game, even though I was, you know, a uh, football and basketball player at the time. So after my junior year, I tore my knee up. Um, so missed all the football and missed basketball. But the one thing I was allowed to do was to golf. As long as I had my knee brace on, but I was allowed to golf. So I got one of these little walking carts, and I kid you not, I'll be out there from sun up to sundown if I was allowed to, uh, just learning how to hit this ball. Um, so I got through my junior year, and then going to my high school year, uh, you know, I was going to stick with football and basketball. Uh, after the football scene ended, didn't really have the exposure or the offers that I wanted. Um, so forego the uh, basketball season and I was like you know what let me pick up golf you know this is something that you know I don't have to worry about nobody hitting me no I don't have to worry about nobody pushing me over whatever it may be um, so I picked up golf and that's where I want to say I learned the most and figured out the most about golf and really where I started to kind of take off so we'll have about you know two and a half hour practices about four days a week um, and I would say that I would be on the range for maybe 30 minutes because I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to learn how to drive a ball 300 yards, you know, in a matter of two months or a month before our first tournament. So I was like, man, let me just figure out how to, you know, work around the green with chipping and putting. So I will spend about 30 to 45 minutes on the range. And then the rest of that time we were there, I was just chipping and putting. Because I knew that was one thing that I could possibly control and make my score a little bit better. And I've always, you know, I've always heard that, you know, most of your shots are around the green anyway. So, um, yeah, so did that my senior year. Um, it was really unfortunate because I started to get pretty dang good. Uh, my first tournament, I think I shot like a 135 or something like that. It was absolutely horrible. Terrible conditions. But again, I played absolutely terrible. Um, but yeah, so it was a, it was a humbling experience, you know, being somebody that was at the top of their game in football and basketball and then coming to a sport that I'm the lowest of low, uh, very humbling experience, but suck it out. Uh, the last tournament I got to play in, uh, at the same course that I shot the 135 at, I am shooting 81, which was, uh, I believe nine over par. And so, yeah, that was without knowing how to use a driver. I was using my three wood, um, off the tee box and I was very happy. I was, you know, on cloud nine. I think I got second on my team on that tournament. So I was, I was very excited. Um, so fast forward a couple more weeks, you know, we're about to get ready for regionals and you know, everyone goes to regionals and then if you shoot a certain score, you go to state. 
Well, about three days before regionals, you know, I'm getting ready for football because I signed a, a football scholarship and, uh, you know, I'm lifting weights and got hurt. So long story short, basically, I couldn't even pick up a golf club. I couldn't swing a golf club. Like it was so uncomfortable that I was like, there's no way I can play. I tried to come back. I tried icing it and rehab. It just in that short of time frame, I couldn't do nothing about it. So I missed regionals and the sh the like the uh number that would have got me in the state was like an 87 and it was our home course and i usually shoot you know low to mid 80s uh, on practice rounds so i'm like man i i really could have made it to state you know my one year playing golf but it is what it is uh i do know if i made it to state i would have got nowhere close to winning or even placing just because the course would have had to play at i think i shot like a 110 or 115 uh the one time we played there so um, yeah, so it would just been cool to actually, you know, get that recognition that I made it to state, but, uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't get close to winning. Um, so get to college, uh, you know, I'm still trying to figure out this game. Um, so I was out there like, and you know, some of my buddies can attest to this. If we weren't in football or had anything football related, I was going to be at the golf course. And, uh, again, Emporia Municipal, like it was a really, that was pretty much where I learned most of my golf game. That's where I spent a majority of my golf game. And, um, you know, one of the golf pros out there, super dope guy. And I really appreciate him helping. But I would say 90% or 95% of what I know about golf is I either taught myself or I found on YouTube. I've never had a golf coach. Uh, I've never had, you know, a private lesson or a semi-private lesson, whatever. It's just literally I just go out swing. I record myself from time to time just to see, okay, what are the pros doing? How are they swinging? And then I'll watch, you know, some YouTube videos to try to help correct it. And I go out and try to reenact it. So I'll say 90, 90 to 95% of my golf game is self-taught, um, which I'm proud of just because I feel like I'm just as good as the average golfer. And if I could learn how to hit my driver consistently, you know, I feel like I'll be a much better player. I at least take about three or four uh, strokes off the game, but it is what it is. I've just got to figure it out with practice. And, um, but yeah, so back to the golf pro at Emporia, uh, super dope because he, he noticed I was out there rain or shine out there chipping, putting when no one was out there, um, uh, and hitting the range. Cause I, again, I was trying to figure out this game. And so he came out and literally told me one thing for five minutes and was like, Hey, you know, you're way too athletic. You're you're shortening your swing. You need to open up more and rotate a little bit more and you'll hit it a little bit better. And sure enough, uh, I was hitting my eight iron at the time. I want to say like 145, which, you know, you got people smaller than me that are just crushing it. Uh, and now I hit my pitching wedge about 150. So, or about 145, 150, depending on, you know, weather and whatnot. But, but yeah, so it's like literally that increased my each club increased by about 20 30 yards just by that one thing he told me so i'm like man if i can you know get time with like a coach or a trainer or whatever i feel like my golf game would skyrocket um because if i set my mind to something like i really want to be good at it like i don't like i said like when i was talking about my tournament to start off it's very humbling to be at really good at one sport and really bad at the other um but yeah so uh, kind of what I want to do with the golf channel is I want to make the average golfer or the self-taught golfer know that, hey, you can do it. Uh, this game is one of the most addicting and frustrating games or things in life in, in general. Uh, but yeah, so basically, because everyone that I watch on YouTube, you know, they're shooting like three under par, four under par. And they're like, oh, man, I could have shot six under, but, you know. I lift that putt out and whatever. Well, I'm I'm here to show you that, hey, 90% of golfers, we're going to shoot over par. Like, we're not going to shoot even. We're not going to shoot one over. We're not going to shoot. We're usually about nine plus through 18 holes, right? So that's what I'm here for. I'm here for the content that, you know, makes you feel normal, right? Um, but yeah, but what I really want to do with the Golf Channel on top of that, 
is obviously I want to get better at this game and maybe I might turn into one of those golfers that 200, 300, 400, whatever it may be. And if that's the case, that's super awesome. But as of now, starting out, you know, I, I wanted to, you know, get other people into golf because I think it's a really a fun game. And once you get the hang of it, it does become very addictive. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just, I, it's just a really good time. And, um, I want to, you know, bring friends, family, whatever it may be into the videos, uh, just because having that competitive nature and like we play all sorts of games. Like if you checked out the one that me, Caddy Joe and Swaggy D did, um, that was a lot of fun. You know, I played my regular, uh, stroke play version while they did like a two man scramble. And we combine those two ideas with match play. So basically they play their best ball and I only play my one and only ball. So that was a lot of fun. So if you haven't checked out that video, definitely check it out. Uh, it's probably one of my favorites out of the few that I've posted. Um, but yeah, so I, I keep getting sidetracked, but going back to why I want to do this channel, uh, I want to, you know, just, uh, I want to get better at this game. I want to continue to uh, bring other people into the game and, you know, make these videos and have a lot of fun with, and hopefully it provides some entertainment. Uh, hopefully you all enjoy, uh, what I'm doing. Like I said, like the views haven't really been there, which I'm not too concerned with right now. Cause this is something I really enjoy doing. I really like playing golf and the fact that I can go back and rewatch my round and edit and do whatever I want to do. It's really thrilling to me. So, uh, I really do enjoy it. Uh, whether, you know, it gets a hundred likes, whether it gets two likes or hundred views or two views, whatever it may be. Uh, this is something I really enjoy doing. I do plan on doing it a lot more, but with school starting, you know, a lot of, uh, or a couple of the guys I play with are teachers. So, um, and I work the weekend, so it's really hard to figure out a time that we can all, you know, come together and actually make these videos. Uh, so sorry for the lack of content. Um, that's why I'm kind of making this video. So you get something, you kind of understand what I'm trying to do with it. And, um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty much me. Uh, that's pretty much my journey right now. Um, I plan on making more videos. You just gotta be patient this time of year and hopefully I get more out for you. Uh, I do plan on shooting a couple videos in the next week or two, um, outside of this one, of course, but uh, hopefully those turn out all right. I think I'm just going to be playing by myself. Uh, not sure yet, but I'll give y'all more details when it gets here. But again, appreciate y'all watching. I appreciate all the support. Um, you know, like, comment, subscribe at the end of the day, you know, do what you got to do. Uh, but for real, you know, I can't thank y'all enough for, you know, watching, uh, liking, hopefully you enjoy the content. I know, I know, I know that the audio on some videos are horrible but I currently live in Derby or Wichita, Kansas, and it's windy as can be 90% of the time. Like it's very rare that you find a day that's not windy. So uh, until I actually start making something or I get a lot more viewers or likes or whatever, that's probably how it's gonna be. Uh, you know, it's hard for me to, you know, spend hundreds of dollars and making sure the audio is perfect when you know, the viewership and the likes and the follows or whatever it may be, isn't quite there. Um, so once that ramps up, I will start throwing more money into this so I can make sure, you know, it's all good to go. Um, and hopefully y'all have the best experience. But again, uh, up to this point, I appreciate y'all watching. Appreciate y'all, appreciate y'all supporting. Uh, if you have any ideas on what you want me to do, what courses y'all want me to play, uh, obviously I'm, I'm paying for this stuff. So, uh, let's try to keep it in a good, uh, budget. You know, I'm not getting invited to these places. So, uh, don't recommend a course. It's like a hundred plus, you know, I, I, cause I, there's zero chance I'm gonna do it. Uh, but yeah, so, you know, even if you want to play around with me, let me know. Okay. Whether it's recorded or not, you know, I love playing golf. I love being out there, uh, you know, I don't give out lessons. I don't, I'm not going to say I'm a professional or know what I'm doing. Like if I do something wrong, I know what I did. But if you do something wrong, I, I couldn't sit here and tell you, oh yeah, you needed this, you need to do that. I have some pointers, but again, 
I'm not the best, okay? Like I, I know what I'm doing wrong just because I've, I've messed with it long enough. But if it's my first time seeing you play, there's no, I'll have no idea why you're doing something wrong. Um, but yeah, I'm all about playing golf. Uh, so if you want to play with me sometime, definitely let me know. Uh, again, with work and your work or schedules, whatever. We'll try to find a date. Um, but yeah, we'll get this thing rolling. Hope y'all enjoy this video. Again, like, subscribe, comment. But at the end of the day, do what you got to do. Appreciate y'all support. This is...